Roll call. Mr. McIntyre? Here. Mr. Gaffney? Mr. Beach? Here. Administrator Jones? I'm here. Press for modification and approval. You know, we had a one, a later writing thing came yesterday afternoon. Uh, Clea Rome, the WSU Extension, is asking for a letter of support uh, for the Seed the Sound Center for Food and Farm Innovation for three counties. Uh, and so we, we'd like to add this item 3D for your discussion. Okay. Is there a motion? Motion to add item 3D and approve the agenda. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Public comment for agenda items. Hi, Clea. How are you? Good, thanks. I had the opportunity to talk about your letter. Yeah, I just uh, uh, wanted Come to up. say thanks for your support, and uh, I can give you a little quick overview of the project if you if you are interested. In. Sure, that'd be great. Okay, so um, it's a partnership with Jefferson Extension and Kitsap Extension to form a uh, a regional network of farm support services that would be based primarily at Twin Vista Ranch, which is owned by WSU, it's in Jefferson County, but to have support offices in Clown and Kitsap. And basically this will hugely increase our capacity to offer all sorts of, of services from the production side for farms all the way through the business planning, budget development, marketing, product development side as well. So it's, it's through the um, Department of Commerce EDA, and it's for a three-year period, and uh, we're excited about it. Thank you. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll ask if you can stick around for a little bit. We'll, when we get to the agenda item, we'll ask if uh, Eden Fisher has any questions. Oh. Okay. Uh, thanks. thanks for that. Anybody else? Sir?
Move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Reports and presentations. I will read the two proclamations in order, which is uh, recognizing October 2015 as Disability Employment Awareness Month. Whereas Public Law 176, enacted by Congress in 1945, designated the first week in October as National Employ the Physically Handicapped Week, and in 1988, Congress changed the name to National Disability Employment, Employment Awareness Month. And whereas this is the 70th anniversary of celebrating this event, and whereas many citizens with developmental disabilities have the ability and desire to seek employment in settings that provide opportunities to earn competitive wages and benefits, enable them to reach their maximum potential, achieve economic self-sufficiency, and contribute to their communities, and whereas citizens with developmental disabilities have a positive impact on the economy by earning wages, purchasing goods and services in their communities, and becoming self-supporting, and whereas workplaces welcoming of the talents of all people including people with de developmental disabilities are a critical part of our efforts to build an inclusive community and strong economy. And whereas Clallam County, a state leading county, supports and encourages individuals with developmental disabilities to find employment, thus fostering the key objectives of advancing individual well-being and reducing the demand on public resources. <clears throat> and whereas individuals and their families, local government, the business community and the general public benefit greatly from increased employment of people with developmental disabilities and share in the responsibility for achieving this goal. And whereas many local employers have chosen to partner with Clallam County's Department of Health and Human Services and other local agencies to provide employment opportunities for individuals with developmental disabilities, now therefore be proclaimed the Board of Clallam County Commissioners hereby recognizes October as Disability Employment Awareness Month in Clallam County and encourages all businesses and citizens to advocate for increased employment and inclusion in the community life of Clallam County for all its individuals. And in quotations, my disability is only one part of who I am. That's a motto. It's signed this 29th day of September. 2015 by the three commissioners. And Tim, where Tim is. Before you come up, let me read the other one. We'll just do both of these together. That's, that's the second is a proclamation recognizing the employers of individuals with developmental disabilities. And it reads as follows Whereas the purpose of National Disability Employment Awareness Month is to educate about disability employment issues and celebrate the many and varied contributions of Clallam County's worker, workers with developmental disabilities. And whereas work is a fundamental part of identity and offers purpose and the opportunity to lead an independent, self-directed life for all people, including individuals with disabilities. And whereas workplaces welcoming of the talents of all people, including people with development, dis, developmental disabilities, are a critical part of our efforts to build an inclusive community and a strong and diverse economy. And whereas the values and diversity of the people of Clallam County have made this county a leader throughout the state of Washington in business and employment opportunities for individuals with developmental disabilities. And whereas many local businesses have chosen to see the individuals with developmental disabilities as individuals with talents that are an asset to their business, and whereas many local businesses have chosen to foster a culture respectful of individual differences, including disabilities, as a core value, and whereas many local employers have chosen to tap into this talented, committed workforce by partnering with Clown County's Department of Health and Human Services to provide employment opportunities for individuals with developmental disabilities. Now, therefore, be it proclaimed the Board of Clallam County Commissioners hereby recognize, thank, and applaud the Clallam County businesses that demonstrate the insight and good business sense to hire workers with developmental disabilities and
encourage all citizens to join in efforts to increase employment and involvement of persons with developmental disabilities throughout Clonawal County and to participate in the efforts to allow the full participation of people with developmental disabilities in economic, social, and work life of the community, making Clonawal County inclusive for all. And again, in quotes, my disability is only, only one part of who I am. And this proclamation is signed also on the 29th day of September 2015 by the three of us. So, yeah, come on up. Receive these. Here to make a couple of remarks, please feel free to. Thanks for putting these together. Thank you. And for your work. Can't get away without hearing from me for a few minutes. Thank you very much. As you noticed, we did this again this year with two proclamations. It's very important to us to. First of all, recognize that this is National Disability Awareness Month, the Employment Month. And that, as you heard, as you mentioned in the proclamation, it's the 70th anniversary. It started out with just physical disabilities. We concentrate in this county on developmental disabilities because that is the mission that we work with here at the county. That is not to say that people with disabilities physical otherwise are not important, but our focus is on the development of disabilities community. Um, at this point, we have made many strides. 70 years that we have noted that people um, with developmental disabilities have work-related needs. About um, 40 years ago was the first time an individual with a developmental disability was allowed to go to school was guaranteed the right to be in school. And about 25 years ago, ADA came into effect. So we're still, we're still young in this field, but we're, we're working on it. What is really nice, we are a leader in this field, in the, basically in the state and in the nation. The state of Washington is well known for employment of individuals with developmental disabilities. Our county, we are, the second highest percentage of individuals with developmental disabilities that are employed. And we're behind King County, we're after them at this point. And that is even more significant when you realize that we have an extremely high unemployment rate compared to much of the state. So people with developmental disabilities are doing well. Um, in the last year, just to give you an idea that we are continuing to work hard, we've added a net of 10 more individuals on our caseload, which is about 13 to 14 percent of that many more people employed or actually trying to get employed. But out of those 10 people, seven of them are already employed. And we've made major inroads in a number of um, companies here. And that is completely because we have a committed team in this community. We have the Developmental Disabilities Administration. We have our county um, health and human services. We have businesses that are committed. We have business leaders that serve on an advisory committee that are committed. Uh, we have DVR as a part of that. We also have a number, and we have some providers in the um, audience today we have Pierce Jones and Associates, Morningside, and Concerned Citizens who are providers who do the ground work for us, which is wonderful. And we really appreciate that you are willing to recognize what is going on and what is happening. Today, my case manager, Mary, is out in the field because she is honoring Safeway and Swim as the employer of the month. So every month we have been able to do that. And I'm just going to give you very quickly, and then I'll, I'll be quiet for you, just an idea of the breadth. We have 32 separate employers, and some of them are hiring multiple individuals right now. On the west side, we have Three Rivers Resort. Um, in Squim, we have Dungeness Court Memory Care, Goodwill, Holiday Inn Express, Wanda Food Cottages, Kingsway, Four Square Church, McDonald's, Pacific Bay International, Safeway and Square Community School. 
in Port Angeles, we have McMullen County Hospitalities, Collin Transit, uh, DSHS Children's Services, Crestwood Nursing Home, Fierro Marine Life Center, Goodwill, Hagen's, Highway 101 Safeway, Jay's Real Estate, Jack in the Box, Lincoln Street Safeway, McDonald's, Morningside, Olympic Medical Center, Pacific Office Equipment, Service Masters, Smugglers Landing, St. Matthew's Church, TLC, Pet Pros, Walmart, Wolfie, Law Office, and the YMCA. So we have a, a breadth of people working together to keep us doing a good job. And the neat thing is we have all of these people that are now taxpayers and participants in our community, which we are just thrilled about. Thank you for your support. Thank you for declaring both of these. The employer proclamation, a copy will go out to every employer so that they can put it up in their business to show that they what they believe in and that they are a part of the community. Thank you.
with Kitsap Public Health District, Whatcom County Health Department, King County Health Department, Thurston County Public Health, Mason County Public Health, Tacoma Pierce County Health Department, Snohomish County, Grace Harbor County, Pacific County, Washington State Department of Health, and the Washington State Department of Ecology. Uh, no budget impact on this. Uh, move to approve the memorandum of understanding. Second. Move and second. And I think we had discussed this earlier, Andy, at a work session. We did. We did. Yeah. We did. Yeah. We did. Okay, that's right. Okay. Uh, further discussion. Okay, well, we, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Andy, was it this? When we discussed this, an option for people in the Carlsberg area? It is. Okay. okay. All in favor? Aye, aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Administration. Item 3A is consideration of the quick claim deed transferring 20 acres from roads to parks. And as we discussed yesterday in work session, this transfer originally was from parks to roads, so the uh, yeah, road is done with it. It's coming back and it will aid in the uh, proper location of the, of the, this off facility being built there. Okay. Move to approve the quick claim deed. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 3B is a letter of support for the application from Cotton Jefferson Kitsap County to create the Sea to Sound Center for Food and Farm Innovation. Move to approve the letter of support. Second. Moved and seconded. Uh, questions for Clea? Happy to support this. All in favor? Aye, aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Budget. Item 4A is resolution adopting the following supplemental appropriations. Under enhanced 911 additional funding for the Washington State Military Department Emergency Management Division in the amount of $46,600. Under general fund auditor, the Help America Vote Act grant funding uh, in the amount of $1,723. And under Superior Court dispute resolution, receipt of surcharge fees on new case filings in the amount of $4,800. Resolution for supplemental appropriations. Move to approve the resolution for supplemental appropriations. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion? All in favor? Aye, aye. Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. No bids, no awards, no community development, no public works. Hearing at 10.30. Five minutes. Looks like five, five or six minutes. So we will, uh, instead of sitting here staring at each other for five or six minutes, I'll open public comment on anything in general. And we will circle back to somebody that, uh, after we close the hearing and do whatever we're going to do then. I'll reopen that, but let's go ahead and start, Ken. Go ahead. Good morning. I kind of hope that this would come after the regular business, but I read with dismay the letter from person that you had selected as a pro tem commissioner in the paper recently. I welcomed you when you were installed at, on the commission some years ago. And I found your methods to be inconsistent with uh, some of the methods that and comments he made in his letter to the editor. And I say to you that you're better than that and I hope you don't use those methods. I think that the positive things that you've done speak for you. I thank you for that. Thank you. Anybody else? This man. Oh, sorry. I brought an announcement today about um, the fall flamingo tour, which is going to be held at the Olympic Theater of Arts in Swim 
on October 1st. She's renowned about the election, about it. I believe the flyers on the desk. Thank you. I will delay more to take up any time. My name is Karen Pierce, and I am one of the vendors uh, that contracts with the county through uh, Tim and then, of course, through uh, uh, Ives Department. And I would just like to say thank you to everybody. To Tim, to Iva, to all of you, to the sheriffs, to the bus drivers, to the paratransit drivers, and to the employers. Um, having a job is one of the most important uh, single things that happens in any adult's life. Um, and I would just like to thank you all uh, for your continued support. It's incredibly important. So. We couldn't do it without you and folks like you, so thank you. <clears throat> yes, sir. <clears throat> um, that you said for like general items, but um, may I address something that uh, like regarding the, uh, the cameras for the jail? Okay. Um, are there cameras? Hey, may I, oh, I'm sorry. Actually, that, that's <coughs> during the hearing. That's during the hearing. So, if, if you'd like to make yeah. that comment yeah. during the hearing, that might be. As long as we get another chance, I think. Oh, yeah, sure. Thank you. So, you know what else we lunge for the microphone here? We'll just, uh, we got two minutes to look at each other, so we'll just sort of look at each other. In fact, I'm on the moment on my clock over there, so I'll go with Horizons Network time, and I have 10.30 here. So, we'll go ahead and open up our hearing. Okay, thank you. Um, as you know, it, it takes some uh, time in terms of uh, posting notices and and uh, to get to this page or, the, or to this date on a budget emergency. And during that time, one of these items, uh, the sheriff and the prosecutor or the uh, uh, facilities uh, director have talked about what it's going to take to get the security cameras in the jail. And at this point, uh, everybody believes it would be in the best interest of the county to just wait and do that next year instead of, instead of trying to get it done between now and the end of the year. But we'd already done the public notice. So um, I, I think as our staff report, uh, at this point, we can talk to the sheriff about it. But I believe that Overall, collectively, we've all decided that uh, just the timing to get the engineering done and everything, it's going to take into the first part of the year anyway. There's no use doing the budget emergency at this point. And I've added it into my extraordinary budget yeah. instead. Okay. So on that one. However, the parks and facilities, extra health expenses to cover medical leave for two employees of $17,469. And we can talk to Joel and he can, he can tell you um, basically one of the reasons that uh, facilities, and found this all out uh, during my budget meetings, is losing ground with all of the projects is he's got, I think, three people now, or total of four? It was three, it was four. It was four, and now three people out on my duty who aren't able to do some of the work, and yet we've got these projects that need to be done. And so I encourage Joel to ask for what he needs to do to get some extra help to cover for the rest of this year those two employees. So that's what that 17469 is. Um, hey, can you still clarify sure. one point there? Actually, the bulk of it is for the injury. Uh, we had to call an extra help for our injured custodian who was injured way back in April. And he's only just now, a uh, week before last, back to work. So we had to hire additional help for that. That's what the bulk of this is for. We've got another, another one, uh, another main worker who's about to undergo surgery that we anticipate being out for about two months. Um, we don't know the exact date at this point, but this covers us um, through the end of the year. It's out of red. Which is always good. We wish your folks a speedy recovery. We're all about breaking parts. <laughs> what happens when you get older? Okay. So at this point, we'd like to withdraw a request for the supplemental for the jail cameras, but, Sheriff, did you have something? Well, I do. Uh, um, if, uh, if we have the opportunity, I can 
more than happy to if anybody's interested to be in the debate in order to discuss the topic. But as Jim indicated, um, logistically it's just impossible even if you were to approve it, it, it would not be possible or feasible for no facilities to do what he needs to do to put in. So um, before the end of the year. Before the end of the year. So we're and this is something that it is a substantial sum of money. We want to get it right. We're still going to press on. I, I think that I can still put a request for a proposal out for it this year with the idea being that it's going to be funded in early, late winter or early spring and hopefully have a month. But if anyone wants to discuss it or discuss the merits, then I can talk to one and to discuss it. That's fine. What we're going to discuss it. Well, we, we can certainly hear um, whatever people's thoughts are uh, on this on this item as it's currently written right now and then we can just do what we need to do to modify the resolution when that when that gets taken up after the hearing so there, there's more than ample opportunity here to fix this go ahead one more thing to add on that um we did i did actually meet with uh, some sheriff's folks last week um, most of them i think all of them are here uh, and we did actually get the ball rolling so to speak so we're all on the same page and we know what is going to be required. So we'll try to get a start on it next year. Okay, any uh, questions from the board? We'll go ahead and open the hearing. There are, <coughs> excuse me, uh, five people that have signed up. Can Cassandra, <coughs> Cassandra Bellucci. It looks like she is here. Chris Johnston, did I get that halfway right? Okay, Ken Triando. That's me, the same address. So the explanation for the parks and facilities expenditures was a combination of extra cost for medical leave and employment of extra people? There are some benefits involved in this about $22 million. So the rest of it is to be extra for employment. Right. So the um, expenditure for uh, the cameras for the sheriff's jail. My comments were going to be hopefully to take this into next year's budget. Um, Sounding like that's going to happen, and, and will this proposal be bid now? Is that yes. what we're talking about? Yes. Okay. It, 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 unrelated to this, it's uh, expenditure that very requires a, a bid. Thank you. Thank you, um, Michelle Roberts. Okay. Um, 
One more question. I don't know, Joel, if you would know the answer to this. Um, do the road department um, shops have any cameras that you know of? May I address the board? Do the road department satellite shops in Squim, Port Angeles, or St. Paul Bay have security cameras in working order? <laughs> period, actually. I don't know the answer to that question. Uh, this, this hearing is regarding the jam. Well, well, there's, there's, well, certainly there's, there's a connection. connection. There's a connection. Right. We'll, we'll certainly they might have some extra cameras. <clears throat> the events that led up to my injury and my injury would have been caught on camera had we had sufficient coverage of uh, surveillance in those areas. So if you guys have cameras, and you're going to replace them once you have them. I'm sure you need them. These are not. This is no replacement whatsoever. Maybe, maybe you could sweeten the deal on the contract and ask for a few cameras at the satellite shop because you guys have avoided reports of theft, contamination, and people doing work on the private vehicles during county time. That will be avoided mostly with the addition of security cameras. <coughs> Request such. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, that's all the people that have signed up. Is there anyone else that cares to provide comments or testimony? If not, seeing no one, uh, what's the pleasure of the board regarding closing the hearing? Move to close the hearing. Who's been seconded? Uh, discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. The hearing is closed. What is the Pleasure of the board regarding the resolution. Move to modify the resolution so that the proposal of $250,000 for sheriff's jail is excluded from the proposal. Second. Moved and seconded. So the resolution contains only one item uh, parts and facilities as uh, previously described. Uh, further discussion? I just I would like to recognize Joel. You know what? You've been busy without a crew working with you. And I thank you for taking care of the business, I'm sure, especially while we have a care going on. That had to have been a challenge. It's been a challenge. And no whippering, whining, or anything like that. So thank you very much for your professional life. Thank you. I appreciate Joel and the sheriff and Jim. Traditionally, we've kind of held off on these bigger items this late in the budget process. So was, uh, my concern was kind of setting precedent and jumping the gun before the board and Jim meets with the department. So I appreciate the sheriff's cooperation and kind of moving this to the 2016 budget where probably it's more appropriate. I certainly support your project. I don't think that that's the issue. The issue is just this kitchen. That becomes the new way of doing things. That you can't have two budget processes, and that may not be fair to the rest of the team. So, thanks for working with that. Okay. All in favor of the resolution as amended? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And uh, that is all the business that we have. Are there any other public comments on anything in general? Seeing no one, uh, we have uh, no executive session this evening. Uh, there will be a budget forum road show here in this room at 6 p.m. Uh, where one or more commissioners will, uh, or more than one commissioner will uh, be in attendance. Uh, likewise, Wednesday the 30th, Blakesley's Bar and Grill uh, and Forks at noon. Thursday, October 1st, 6 p.m. Uh, in the Swim Transit Center. Those are all concerned with our usual budget roadshow that happens this time of year. So with that, we are adjourned.